comes to you guys are taking on Michigan, what are you guys seeing on film from them so yeah. far? Um, they're pretty. They're, they're a real good team. They got some really good running backs. Um, they have some young receivers that can ball. Um, they a two loss team, but they way better than that. Watching them, so you're gonna have to play. When it comes to that, when you have, uh, what do you see out of those running backs? Either you know running the ball, but also like receiving the ball. Have you seen anything that's different? Uh, you know, or between those backs? They can take screens the distance. Um, so we're just gonna have to. We got to play our game, you know, because they they got some juice. They can play. Uh, when it comes to what do you see on receiver? You talked about the receivers. Like, what do you what do you see out of them? Uh, you know, Derek said they're a good route runner. Like, what do you see out of that on film? Um, they physical. They fight. You know, they they don't let you just. They're not gonna just let you beat them up. You know, they gonna they gonna come. Um, they pretty good. They a good group. So we just gonna have to lock in and play our game. You guys feel it's gonna be a physical bet, like a slugfest, like it was against Iowa, or even more so? Um, it'd probably be a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, what's, what's the art of the punt return? You know, like, you know, I've talked to Jim, Jimmy in the past, you know, Coach Leonard about, you know, the art of the punt return, but what is it that you have to do that, you know, in terms of catching the ball, uh, you know, and you're also out there on an island where you got 11 guys gunning for you, even though you have 10 others trying to block for you? Um, it's, a, it's a trust thing. You just got to trust your, your, your um, people that's blocking for you it's cause, because you you really can't tell where they at. You can kind of tell, but you can't really tell where they at because you got to track the ball. And um, that's the fun thing about it. But once you once you once you catch it, it's like it's kind of easier to make them miss because they're coming full speed. And it sounds crazy, but it's easier to make people miss when they're coming full speed. So um. when it comes to uh, Derek, I know he's I think he's got some Spider-Man stuff in the locker room. Uh, how big of a superhero fan is he? He love he love like Marvel. What's what's it called? Marvel. Or yeah. D, whatever. I don't know. He <laughs> love like stuff like that. Uh, got a whole bunch of socks. He got every color: red, blue, black, white. Um, you go in his room. He got Spider Man. He got a. I think I seen a, in his room a picture like of a Wisconsin with like twenty five with like Spider Man on. Like I don't know. I think I seen. He got a bunch of Spider Man stuff in his room. Uh, does he? Do you guys have any nicknames for him based off a of superhero? Called, no, okay. I mean, no. He was joking that he was calling himself the Amazing Tyndall, uh, but they said, like, who, 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 who said that? He's like, me? <laughs> so. I'm going to start calling him that, Amazing Tyndall. That's my new nickname for him. That's your new nickname for him? Uh, and then just uh, going forward, just uh, I know this team has goals. Uh, how are you guys approaching the one game at a time mentality? Especially, I mean, there's college game day coming. You know, it's a, you know, college football rankings are out. Just how, are, how are you guys focused? How do you guys stay focused during this time? be honest, we don't even pay attention to that because once you get caught up in all that, that's when you start worrying about the wrong things. That's the thing I like about this team. We don't even, we just focus on what we got to do. Focus on, um, just focus on what's next, our next practice, our next game. And focus on our assignment and technique, so.